Hey, I want a pizza. Can't do that, Chuck. You've been given a lifetime ban. Oh, you're all going to regret this. Sorry about that. That's Chuck, a local nutty inventor type who apparently is turning his house into a fun house. Anyway, time for the next order. Hello? I need pizza. I'm sorry, we're just about to close. Bring me pizza now. But sir, and they hung up on me. Cool story. Obviously, I do not love that the last two customers today have decided to be incredibly rude to me. But that's customer service, baby, and I'm so close to being off shift and in my gym jams. I'll just drop off this last pizza on my way home. Maybe I'll get a nice little tip. Sure, it's a bit weird that this order has an address but no name on it, but I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. If you think that it is disgusting to treat customer service employees in this way, then like this video. I want to see if we can get this to 10,000 likes. Justice for pizza bakers. Okay, let's figure out where this pizza is going and then get me straight on the couch. I bet you didn't know that this town was called Blockswidge. Kind of rhymes with sandwich. Oh uh, no, you have got to be kidding me. That's the house that we're delivering to? That's Mad Chuck's house. He has tricked me into making a pizza against my will. Pizza! There he is, the man himself. You know exactly what you've done. But I have already made this pizza. I might as well be compensated for the pizza. And Chuck, let me assure you, you best be tipping well. What do we think he'll be holding? $20, $50, $100? Or maybe he just won't answer the door at all. Um, hello? Anyone home? I just saw you in the window. There's mail on the floor. It looks important. You want this pizza or not? You tried really hard to get it and hey! What the- <gasps> Okay, I hate that. I hate that. What's going on? Oh, good. I'm trapped. Okay, so quick question. Do we think this has any connection with the missing pizza delivery drivers or nah? Probably nah. This is pretty scary though and I feel like I need your support. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe in the next five seconds before Chuck finds me in a- Give me that pizza. Okay, so plot twist. How's it going, Chuck, old buddy, old pal? I've actually got a delicious pizza for you upstairs, and- You're not going anywhere. You're gonna stay down here, and you're gonna bake pizzas. Forever. Okay, so it's not giving man who is going to see reason anytime soon, so the new plan for the day is escape. Chuck's got another thing coming if he thinks I'm just gonna stay in this basement for the rest of my life slanging pizzas and kneading dough. Like, I do not make pizzas for my health. I make them for cold, hard cash money. So if you're a fan of the Za, just make me an offer. Ooh, nice bathroom though. Love the clawfoot tub. Were I not in the middle of an escape, I might have a soak. Ooh, a shovel. That could come in handy. I'm just gonna say that's my shovel now. I know these are probably meant to be muddy footprints, but they kind of look like dog biscuits. Oh, and they're leading outside. Let me out, let me out. All right, all good, I'll find my own way out. If I ever make it out of this place, I am sorely tempted to remove pizza from the menu so that we don't have this kind of issue again. Like it's a pizza pasta emporium. We could survive on pasta alone. Oh, hey, this looks like it could come in handy. I'll be taking this. Now I just need a lock for this key. Bingo. I don't know, do you think my customers would be satisfied with just pasta? If you are a team pasta person, put a pasta emoji in the comment section. If you are team pizza all the way, put a pizza emoji. I'm doing a poll. All right, Chuck, what you keeping in the basement? Anything that will help me escape your madhouse. Hmm, a vent. I do love a vent. Oh, and some boxes. All right, I'm, pu I'm picking up what you're putting down. Old Chuck should have been a little bit more careful before he installed an extensive ventilation system the size of a person. Because if there be a vent, I'd be crawling through it. Okay, what, where, where am I now? This is one of the more worrying aspects of being trapped inside the house of a mad inventor. There could be anything around the corner. We don't know what he's working on down here. Fueled by his ill-begotten pizzas. Dang, okay, another door closing behind me, trapping me in. The walls feel like they're getting closer. It's fine, it's fine, nothing to worry about. I will figure out a way out of here. Just gotta figure out how to work this elevator. Hmm, okay. What about this? Can I throw this at something? Look at that cracked vent. Oh my gosh, I didn't think that would actually work. I am a genius, an evil genius. Maybe I will make it out of here. What the, um, okay, what's going on here? <gasps> Hot coffee. Someone's been here recently, a half-eaten donut. I can't spend too much time in this place. Gotta press this button, the one, two, seven. Interesting, interesting. Hmm, like some sort of code. Some sort of code that I could put in at this keypad. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with myself. Is it gonna work? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Wonder where we're going now. Into the depths. 
the depths of Mad Chuck's mad house. Well, joke's on you, Mad Chuck, because I'm not giving up that easily, not when the only thing standing between me and freedom is this truly enormous spike pit. Well, I'm never going to be able to jump over that. Unless I have the help of a very large fan. Oof, that's barely an obstacle at all. I just have to become an amateur electrician in the next 20 seconds. All good. I'm very bold. Fortune favors the brave, and the fan is on. Time to test out this theory. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I did it. I did it! I'm invincible! Oh, oh, oh. For a second, I thought there was going to be another spike pit. All right. All good. Oh my gosh, it's giving secret lab. Okay, it's really giving secret lab. Okay, kind of starting to think we might have come across one of Mad Chuck's mad experiments. Do we think their arms got beefy from kneading too much dough? <gasps> okay, so things have taken a turn. Project Kyle? Yeah, I'm not having any of that. I definitely need to escape Project Kyle. I don't even want to have a conversation with Project Kyle. Can Project Kyle climb up of ladders? Or am I good up here? Ah, oh, finally. A pizza weapon. Hopefully this thing can inflict a bit of damage if I can ever find Kyle, or okay, he's right there. <laughs> and a bit of sauce, and a bit of cheese, and a bit more. Okay, just, just the arms remain. Got it. My pals, this is the clearest evidence so far that Mad Chuck is up to some truly mad stuff in here. He is, he's playing God. I'm starting to think that I was not his first choice for 24 hour on call subterranean pizza chef. I think that he might have tried to Frankenstein himself up one over there in the lab. Old Project Kyle. And those missing pizza delivery drivers, they still might be in the building right now. Except, why aren't they making pizza? Mm, well, that's a bit sus, but uh, I'm sure that we'll, we'll resolve that by the end of the video. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Maybe all of those other pizza delivery drivers are off on paid holiday time. They probably told Mad Chuck, oh no, no, not me. I can't make pizzas in the basement this week. No, no, I've rostered it off. I'm heading to Cancun. What is this place? Is this a laundry room with a couch or a living room with a dryer? I'm confused. Ooh, a trap door. Love that. Just bust on through and oh my gosh, I'm outside. One step closer to freedom. One step closer to Jim Jams. Obviously barbed wire fence, still a bit of a problem, but all good. I'm sure we can address that later. Oh my gosh, look, Chuck's got a dog. Hey, bud. You look cute. You want to play? Oh, my brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Reader Hank did not come to play. Wonder if this is what happened to the last person who tried to play with Hank. I need to find a shovel. I've got a shovel. You really want me to dig up this grave? I mean, I'm not one to turn down a helpful hint, so I guess I'm a grave robber now. Not sure exactly what I'm looking for here. But <gasps> so that's one of my colleagues. Usually he has more skin. All right, this is begging a lot more questions than it's answering, and I've got a pretty bad idea. Is this a bad idea? Uh, Hank, you want to play? Mmm, Hank loves the bone. Just don't think too hard about the bone. Best to, best to just forget about the bone entirely. We have to get out of here. Unfortunately, I'm just doing what it takes to survive, okay? I'm a survivor. What else has Hank been up to? Oh, burying books? That's a bit concerning. Hank, why do you hate literacy? I mean, sorry to bother you. Enjoy your bone. Really don't want to leave this out here for Hank to keep destroying. Might just quickly see if I can pop it somewhere safe. A bookshelf. That's safe. Oh my gosh. And there's a bookshape hole. Stunning. I'll just pop that there and oh, okay. Secret bookshelf. No word of a lie. I have seen a secret bookshelf in real life. It was the coolest thing ever. I kind of wish I could close this so Chuck doesn't know that I have entered the secret room, but it doesn't seem to be an option, so all good. I'll just um, climb up this ladder and see what else we got going on here. Why, hello. Oh, a key for me. I actually don't care if it's for me or not because I am being held here against my will, so I will be taking the key if I will let me. Oh, there we go. And up. Or, am I falling? Am I? Wait just happened. I got the key, but now I'm in a dungeon again. Endless dungeoning. Ridiculous behavior to be throwing me in dungeon after dungeon after dungeon. Okay, what's in the box? Oh, a sword. Okay, that definitely seems like it could come in handy. I'll take that. Wish I could chop my way out of the dungeon, but... Oh, oh. oh I can't chop my way out of the dungeon. <laughs> bit dark in here, a bit creepy, and okay, yeah, that's, um... That's more than a bit creepy, actually. Mm, 
think I may have figured out why the other pizza shop employees were not on pizza duty. And unfortunately, it is not because they're in Cancun. Wow, when I dreamed of the day I would see my old colleagues again, I really did not expect them to be zombies that I would be fighting in a dungeon. And oh, I defeated the last one and the door magically opened. Beautiful. So sorry to my fallen comrades. I never would have done this were you not zombies. Wow, before I was just mad at Mad Chuck for wasting my time, but now it's become personal. Now we've got like a personal beef. It's gone turbo beef. It's like a meat lover's beef. Also, like, can we appreciate the lengths that Mad Chuck has gone through for this? Like, uh, he loves pizza, obviously. I love pizza too. Everybody does. I'm going for pizza literally after I finish this video. However, there are other options, my guy. Check the frozen selection of pizzas at your local grocer. Look up how to make dough on YouTube. Get a sourdough starter. The point is, you don't have to be making it everybody else's problem, okay? Putting me in a situation where I have to fight my zombie colleagues is just rude. Also, like, I'm clocked off. I'm, like, not even working. I'm not getting paid for this right now. Obviously, I would love if my manager could approve this as overtime, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Like, I could try to explain to her, but I don't think she'll believe me. Hey, look at this guy. Hey, man, you missing a sword? You wanna hold this one? Looks pretty good on you and whoa, okay. Secret door. I have two minds about this because on the one hand, obviously, I love Secret Door. Very cool. Um, on the other hand, I really feel like I needed that sword. The sword was doing a lot of heavy lifting for me, protection-wise. So let's just all cross our fingers and hope that we're not running into any more zombie colleagues. Just move this. Don't need that. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I'm, I'm, I'm back in the house. Back in the main part of the house. But perhaps I can get outside again with the help of a red key. Good to know. A little bit frustrating that it needs the red key when I have this beautiful gold key that I still haven't had an opportunity to use. It was presented to me by a statue and I fell through the floor for it and I, oh, ah, okay, cool. All right, use my key. What horrors await? Oh, a beautiful painting of a deer, unexpected, oh, and a, and a picturesque window. Oh, that's, that's just stunning actually. Obviously, I have complaints with this house in the sense that I am trapped inside of it, but architecturally, quite nice. Hmm, what do we see here behind the painting of the deer? Is that something back there? Might just move this aside and okay. Now we're talking more secret doors. How nice would it be if I could just yeet myself out that window? That would show Chuck. That would really show him. Everything up here is so dark. I wish I had a flashlight. I don't know where I am. Ooh, nice windowless bedroom and I think you might have a little bit of a mouse problem. Obviously I don't want to judge, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're Bessie and also mice are like pretty cute. So also there's that. Oh he's got a little sign. Oh he wants some cheese. I can get you cheese bud. That'll show Mad Chuck. I'll feed all his precious Swiss Greer to that mouse. Hey bud you want a nibble? Switzerland's finest. You haven't had cheese till you had alpine cheese. And oh my gosh, he loves it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yes, mouse, come through. Wow, a random act of kindness that is aided in my escape. I must have just unlocked a storage room, but I can climb to the top of. I have been all over this house. It's up and down and up and down and to the basement, to the dungeon and oh, a button. Love that. Helpful. I am a bit concerned that I've barely seen Mad Chuck the entire time I've been in here. You garbage and oh no, roaches! Oh, don't stay away from my feet, stay away from my feet! I'm forced to, oh, okay, I, yeah, I'm crushing them. I feel a little bit bad about that, but they were coming right at me. Mm, this place is gross, Chuck. You gotta clean up after yourself. You can't just leave a bag of trash in the middle of the room. It's so disgusting. Hmm, what's going on here? Oh my gosh. That's not the real Chuck, that's just like a cardboard cutout. I don't know, maybe Mad Chuck is trying to turn his house into some sort of like fun house? Some sort of madhouse with all of his inventions? And like parts of it are fun, like slides. Slides are cool, but I kind of feel like something awful is gonna happen at the bottom of the slide. I'm gonna go with blue. Yeah, blue slide. Seems good. Seems good so far. It is fun and okay, but then see, I, I feel like I'm in a, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, we're getting crushy. But I just have to punch this solid metal vent until I can escape the walls closing in on me. I don't think you're gonna have many return visitors. You know how like they usually call them fun houses? Like, let's make it fun. 
and not horrifying. Oh, this actually looks pretty cool. This is way more the vibe. Obviously, I don't really want to try to get a high score. I want to escape. I want to get out the door. I want to... It's not going to let me. Okay. Um, fine. Maybe I need to beat this high score. Huge improvement, Chuck. It's like this is giving fairway. It's giving carnival. It's giving about to win a giant stuffed animal. I don't think he's actually going to let me win anything. A few moments later. What's the gal got to do to get a high score around this place? Is it high score? Yes, it is. And the door is open. We love to see it. Now that I've bested you in the fairway, Mad Chuck, will you allow me to escape once and for all? No, just another little teeny tiny creepy room. What is this? Is this where Mad Chuck observes the heavens? He's like, I'm not just into pizza pies and the thrill of invention. I also love the majesty of the stars. Honestly, in a lot of respects, Mad Chuck sounds like a pretty interesting guy. We could have had something of a friendship. If it weren't for the uh, whole locking me in the basement thing. Is this going to work? Or oh, oh, door closed and we are heading up. Absolutely adore a vintage elevator. The circumstances are not ideal to appreciate it, but love it nonetheless. Oh, wow, this is cool. Up on the roof now, we probably got a view of the whole city. All of Blockswidge laid out below us. Um, does this work? No power. Oh, that's a problem. Unfortunate because I was really hoping that that was going to be my means of escape. Clearly this is one of Mad Chuck's inventions, so I don't know how safe it is, but it does seem to be the only way out of here. So I am going to do my best to locate that power source. Oh my gosh, this looks so janky. Hey, I can see the pizza shop from up here. Wonder if anyone's come in for the opening shift. Hello? Help? Probably just need to take care of this myself. All good. Taking my life into my own hands, and here we go! Okay, so far so good. Staying on the track! Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get stuck upside down. Gonna need a bit more speed if we're gonna be doing any more of those loop-de-loops, and okay, or that might just be the end of the ride. That's actually so fine with me. I don't need any more. Cannot believe I survived that. I've escaped the house, I think. Where am I now? I'm in the mines? Do I need a pickaxe? I do feel compelled to start mining. Do I love the mines? Do I yearn for the mines? Well, imagine if I found a diamond and I could quit the pizza shop. Hey, that's not a diamond. This is just a lava-filled cavern. Beautiful, obviously, but also dangerous and not what I was looking for. But, ooh, what do we got over here? Bucks of the old dynamite. Yeah, I might take these just in case I need them. Is this a good idea? Feels like a good idea. I'm sure it's a good idea. How could jumping from pillar to pillar with a stick of dynamite be a bad idea? Oh, that was pretty close. But success? Hmm, and what a tempting pit you've left here in the earth. Might just jump in it. Hmm, always a nice relief to land in water. Okay, we got a cage. That's not good. We've got an exit door. We love that. And okay, oh, look who it is. Finally decided to join us few new things since I last saw you, Chuck. I don't appreciate how you've treated me. I don't like what you did to my colleagues, and also I've learned how to use dynamite. So that's a problem for you, bud. <laughs> wow, huge, huge problem, actually. Um, hope you weren't too attached to the top half of your body because it has completely disappeared, and all that remains is a pair of little leggies. So might just steal your axe since you're not using it anymore because you no longer have arms. Beautiful. Actually so rude to continue to force me to traverse these caverns after the day I've had. I will be taking the minecart. Let's go home. I think it's safe to say that all of Chuck's friends and family are on the pizza blacklist forever. So now you're sad the video's done, but it's fine. There's actually more just here and here.